When the velveteen rabbit first came to live with the boy, he wasn't at all real. Oh yes, he was fat and bunchy as a rabbit should be. His coat was soft and brown. He had thread whiskers and his ears were lined with pink satin. But that was all he was. He had no slick new coat of shiny paint nor a key in his back to make him work. In fact, he was different. And that created problems. See here, rabbit. I'm here to tell you the rules of this nursery. Number one, we don't much care for bunchy fake rabbits. Number two, clear off. Number three, um, Sergeant Jones. Uh, yes, sir. Wind this rabbit up and send him on his way. Excuse me, sir. There seems to be no key. This rabbit has no clockwork, sir. He's not real. No clockwork? Transportation unit? So the velveteen rabbit was banished to the farthest corner of the nursery. All made of shiny tin Our painted eyes look straight ahead We know we'll always win We always keep ourselves well oiled It really is a must For if we lack in maintenance We'll all turn into rust Just wind us up and point them away And set us to our task But will we beat our enemy? I'm shocked you have to ask we caught a mouse and saved the ball. We jumped the clan last night. There were ten of us and one of him. It wasn't much of a fight. Oh, it's fun to be a soldier, all painted black and red. We're glad we fight for this side. The other side just fled. Don't be upset, little rabbit. I've seen them come and I've seen them go. Nothing but clockwork and tick-tock. Figure all that wind-up stuff makes them real. But nobody's gonna love them. Yep, it's love that makes you real. The skin horse had lived longer in the nursery than any of the others. He was so old that his coat was bald in patches and showed the seams underneath, and most of the hairs in his tail had been pulled out to string necklaces. He was wise, for he had seen a long succession of mechanical toys arrive to boast and swagger, and by and by break their mainsprings and pass away. He knew they were only toys real. It's not how you're made. It's something that happens to you when somebody loves you. Not just to play with, but really loves you. Then you become real. Sometimes it hurts, 
Because being real isn't always easy. It doesn't happen all at once either. It takes a long time. And that's why it doesn't happen to toys that break easily or have sharp edges or have to be kept in a box. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off and your eyes drop out and you can get loose in the joints. You get downright shabby. But these things don't matter at all because once you are real, why, you can't be made ugly except by the people who don't understand. This will do just fine. Here we are then. A toy for you to sleep with. Rabbits are guaranteed to protect boys, yes, and girls, from storms. That night, and for many nights after, the Velveteen Rabbit slept in the boy's bed. At first, he found it rather uncomfortable. For the boy hugged him very tight, and sometimes he rolled over onto him. He pushed him so far under the pillow that the rabbit could scarcely breathe. And he missed his talks with the skin horse on those long, moonlit nights when all the house was silent. Very soon, the Velveteen Rabbit grew to like staying with the boy. For he'd play and talk to him. They had splendid games all day long. And at night, dropping off to sleep, the boy would hold him tight. And so, for the very first time, the Velveteen Rabbit began to feel just a little bit what being real is all about. But not everyone was happy with the Velveteen Rabbit. Right then, something must be done about this stuffed rodent. The boy is spending too much time with it. It'll warp his young mind. Besides, he's not playing with us much these days. All right, men. Execute plan number one. Follow me. This is the boy's bedroom. Charge! Nanny, I'm thirsty. I want some water. Go back to bed. I'll bring you some, dear. Uh, right then, uh, uh, pull in, men. We execute plan number two tomorrow night. Me group, back to the nursery. Now go to sleep. Here's your old toy. That's not a toy, Nana. He's real. When the little rabbit heard that, he was happy. For he knew that what the skin horse had said was true at last. He was real. The boy himself had said it. That night he was almost too happy to sleep, and so much love stirred in his little sawdust heart that it almost burst. And into his boot button eyes that had long ago lost their polish came a look of wisdom and beauty. So that next morning, even Nana noticed when she picked him up. I 
declare that if that old bunny hasn't got quite a knowing expression. Right, men, this evening, plan number six. I, I believe it's number seven, sir. Uh, 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 as I was saying, plan number seven contains an element of surprise. This is a catapult, a simple device that will launch one of us <coughs> deep into enemy territory. Oh, yes, the rabbit will be very surprised. But first, a demonstration. Jones, get on. But, sir, I'm not very good at catapulting, sir. Oh, get up. Like this, Jones. See? Rather like a seesaw, isn't it? What's this lever for, sir? No, Jones, no! Jones? Yes, sir? You and I must have a long talk. Near the house was the Blackberry Wood, and in the long evenings the boy liked to go there to play after tea. He always took the Velveteen Rabbit with him. But before he wandered off, he made the rabbit a little nest somewhere among the bracken, where he would be quite cosy. Odd-looking rabbit? It is a bit. Do you suppose he's asleep? You ever see a rabbit sleep with his eyes open? Well, Beechleaf does. <laughs> He's a bit weird, though. True. Hey, uh, you want to play? What's wrong with him? Wait a minute. He's not real. Why would anyone want a fake rabbit? I don't know. Oops, someone's coming. Right, men. We must show that rabbit that we are not to be toyed with. Tonight's plan, number 16, is foolproof. Must we, sir? I'm starting to rather like the rabbit, sir. So am I, Jones. But that isn't the point, is it? Right then. Winding squad! Tank squad! Load up! Advance! Advance! Reverse! No, forward again! Oh, yes. Forward again! Right up! Left a bit, Jones! Right up! No, not right! Oh, left, Jones! Stop your fool! Oh, no! Now come here! Oh, sorry. Careful! Right. Oh. Pay attention, man! Oh, dear! Go back! Go right back! Up. Come on, back! Right oh, stop! Yes, sir! Right then. Open the hatch, Jones! Um, Sir? The hatch seems to be stuck. Never mind the hatch. Prepare to fire. Yes, sir. Elevation 50 degrees. 50 degrees. Why is it degrees. these toys never get put away before bedtime? Dash it all. I thought I told you not to leave your toys. Oh, no. <laughs> your parents. No, I must call the doctor at once. Oh, dear. <coughs> the boy is very ill. He'll need a good deal of rest. No excitement, you understand, and no visitors. <coughs> we must make every attempt to contain the germs to this room. It was a long, weary time, for the boy was very ill. Day and night, his nana stayed by his side, and the little rabbit's sawdust heart ached so much to see the boy's pain. And he remembered the skin horse saying that sometimes to be real, 
was to hurt. When the boy hugged him close for comfort, he felt very real indeed. Through it all, the tossing and turning, the worrisome, sleepless nights, the little boy needed him most of all. understand the books must go all the clothes from the bed and everything he used while he was sick don't worry dear we'll have all new things in no time at all and you will be going with your parents to the seashore for a holiday tomorrow absolutely everything must be burned certainly that would be a good idea even this old thing surely it can't that why, that's a veritable mass of germs. That, above all, must go. <clears throat> Isn't that what you wanted, sir? What do you take me for, Jones? A barbarian? I'd say it's time for a rescue, eh, Jones? Oh, yes, sir! All right, men. Execute Plan Blue. Get that knob, Jones. I'm trying, sir. Oh, watch it. Oh, look out. Oh, sir. Oh, oh. Terrible fate for any toy. As night crept over the garden, he thought of the long, sunny days he had spent there with the boy. He saw each day pass before him, each seeming more beautiful than the last. His thoughts turned to his friend, the wise old skin horse, his first real friend. He thought of the wonderful day he first knew he was real. And then he thought of the boy. A deep sadness filled him. Of what use was it to be loved and lose one's beauty and become real if it all ended like this? And a tear, a real tear, trickled down his nose and fell to the ground. A tear can come only with real feelings. And that brought me to you. Don't be sad, little one. There are no endings, only beginnings. Now, we shall begin. I have brought a special friend. He's one of you now. Hey, that's the fake rabbit. Be kind and gentle to him and teach him all he needs to know. And he will live with you forever and ever. Every ending holds beginnings And the story goes on Tales of joy and of tears And of loving someone But the real world of magic Will forever unfold In the heart of a child Few things so 
he was a fake rabbit. Your love was real. And so you were real to the little boy. Now you'll be real to the world, little rabbit. Just like my old bunny. I wonder what happened to him. The one that I lost when I was sick. Come here. Don't be afraid. Hey, don't go away. Only the skin horse knew the truth. But then, he had been in the nursery a long, long 